Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the active and passive elements. Let's see first what is active elements. Active elements are the elements which can give the energy in the form of voltage and current or called as the active elements. Okay. So this active elements gives the energy in the form of either voltage or current. Okay. Now these active elements are also called as the energy donors because they give the energy. If you take the examples of the active elements, the battery, voltage source, current source, generator, these are all and etc. all called as the active elements. Okay, this battery gives the supply and this voltage source gives the voltage and the current source gives the current and the generator gives the energy. Okay, so now if you see the symbols of the battery, this is the symbol of the battery. Okay, so now if we take the terminals, it is a positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of the battery. The purpose of the battery is to give the supply. It gives the DC supply. Okay, because it stores energy in the form of DC only. Okay, it cannot store AC. It is a positive terminal of the battery and it is a negative terminal of the battery. Okay, this is of the battery. Now, if we take the voltage source, this is the symbol of the voltage source. It is having the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Okay. Now I am assuming this terminal is A. It is the B terminal. Okay. As it is the voltage source. Okay. We supply voltage. Okay. It supplies the voltage. That's why it is called as the voltage source. Okay. It is a symbol of the DC voltage source. Now if we take the one more example, it is called as the current source symbol. Okay. It is also having the two terminals. It is a A terminal and it is a terminal B. As it is a current source, I will indicate with I suffix S, current source. It supplies the current. That's why it is called as the current source. This is the symbol of the current source. Now, if we take the one more example of the active element, this is called as the generator. The generator is used to give the energy. Okay, so this generator gives the energy. When the power is off, we use the generator for the backup purpose. Okay, these are all called as the active elements because they give the energy. That's why it is called as the active elements. Okay, now if you see the one more example, that is uh, one more element, that is a passive element. Passive elements which can take the energy in the form of voltage or current are called as the passive elements. These passive elements are also called as the energy acceptors because they take the energy. Okay, passive elements takes the energy in the form of either voltage or current. Okay, now these active elements gives the energy and the passive elements takes the energy. Let's see what are the examples of passive elements. If you see the examples of the passive elements, resistor, inductor and capacitor, these three are called as the passive elements. Examples of the passive elements and we can also take one more, so, uh, many more examples, but I am taking resistor, capacitor, inductor and so on here. Now, if you see the symbols, this is the symbol of the resistor. This resistor is denoted by the let letter capital R. Okay. Here, if you see the one more passive elements here, this is the inductor. Inductor is indicated. This is the symbol of the inductor and it is indicated by the letter. By the letter here, it is uh, something like that. It is L. Okay. Now, if you see the one more passive element, this is the capacitor. Okay, this is a capacitor symbol. It is denoted by the letter C. Okay, these are the examples of the passive element. Resistor, inductor, capacitors are the examples of the passive elements. Okay, the active elements, the sources give the energy. This resistor, inductor, capacitor, passive elements takes the energy. That's why these passive elements are also called as the energy acceptors. Okay, now we will see one practical uh, connection. It is a combination of active elements and passive elements. Now, if you see the circuit here, this is the electrical circuit. So it is having the battery. So this battery is having the two terminals, positive and the negative terminal. The purpose of the, this battery is to give the supply voltage. This, it gives the DC supply. Okay. So here, the main purpose of the battery is to give the supply voltage. Now, can anyone tell me what is this battery? Battery is the active elements or passive element. Battery is called as the active element. Okay. This battery is called as the active element because it supplies the voltage. It is supplying the voltage. Now, if we take the bulb here, bulb is taking the energy from the battery. 
okay that's why this bulb is called as a passive element okay the bulb is called as a passive element and this this battery is called as the active element okay this bulb is uh, this battery is an active element because it is supplying the energy to this battery because of this battery only this bulb is glowing okay this in this bulb take the energy from the active element active element supplies the energy to the passive elements so this is the real time uh, diagram of the active and passive element simply we can say that active element supply the old uh, sub, uh, gives the energy that is supply the energy and the passive elements take the energy okay got it so the in this case the battery is supplying the voltage and this bulb is taking the voltage so this is the one real time example of the active and passive element okay this is about the active and passive elements in the next class we will discuss more about the dc circuits remaining topics thank you everyone